Ever wondered how some graphic designers consistently produce eye-catching, stunning designs? It boils down to one thing, the power of creativity. In the realm of graphic design, creativity is the game changer. It's what separates standout designs from the ordinary, transforming simple shapes and colors into compelling visual stories. It's the ability to think outside the box, to see beyond the obvious, and to dare to be different. Creativity is the secret sauce that makes your designs not only unique, but also impactful. Great designs always stem from a strong foundation. Just as a house needs a solid base to stand strong, a great design is built on the firm bedrock of basic design principles. These principles are the guiding stars that lead us through the vast universe of creativity and innovation. Let's dive into these fundamental principles, shall we? First off, we have balance. Think of balance as the invisible scale that weighs the elements in your design. It could be symmetrical, where elements are mirrored on either side. Or it could be asymmetrical, where different elements balance each other out in terms of visual weight. Balance brings a sense of stability and harmony to your design. Next up, contrast. Contrast is the secret spice that adds flavor to your design. It highlights the differences and creates a visual interest. It could be through color, size, shape, or even typography. The key is to make sure the differences are stark enough to create an impact, but not so much that it becomes jarring. Then we have hierarchy. Hierarchy is like the director of a play. It tells the viewer where to look first, second, third, and so on. It helps organize information in a way that's easy to understand. Hierarchy can be established through size, color, contrast, or even positioning. These principles, balance, contrast, and hierarchy are your magic ingredients. They guide your design process and help you create pieces that are visually pleasing and effective in communicating your intended message. But remember, these principles are not rigid rules to be followed to the letter. They are guidelines that help you make informed decisions. Just like how a chef uses a recipe as a starting point, but adds their own flair to make the dish their own. So, don't be afraid to experiment and make mistakes, because that's how you learn, grow, and eventually find your own unique design voice. Mastering these basic principles is like learning the alphabet before writing a novel. And once you've mastered them, you're ready to start weaving your own design stories. Every artist needs their tools, and graphic designers are no exception. Let's start with Adobe Illustrator, the powerhouse of vector-based design. Illustrator is the go-to tool for creating logos, icons, and other scalable graphics. Since it's vector-based, you can resize your design without losing any quality. The pen tool is your magic wand here, enabling you to create precise shapes and lines. A quick tip, use keyboard shortcuts. For instance, pressing P will give you the pen tool instantly. Also, don't forget to familiarize yourself with the layers panel. It's your backstage to manage and organize your design elements. Next, we have Adobe Photoshop, which is essentially your digital canvas. It excels at handling raster graphics, making it perfect for photo manipulation and creating detailed textures. Here's a pro tip, use adjustment layers. They allow you to tweak the color and tone of your image non-destructively. That means you can always come back and make changes without affecting the original image. Another essential tool is the brush tool. Just like an artist's brush, it's versatile and can be used for everything from basic painting to complex texture creation. Finally, there's Adobe InDesign, the kingpin of layout design. Whether you're crafting a magazine, a brochure, or a digital ebook, InDesign makes it a breeze. The key here is mastering the use of grids and guides to ensure your layout is balanced and harmonious. A handy tip is to use master pages. They allow you to create consistent layouts across multiple pages, saving you a lot of time and effort. Remember, each of these tools has a unique strength. Illustrator for vector graphics, Photoshop for image editing, and InDesign for layout design. Knowing when to use which tool is just as important as knowing how to use them. And of course, practice makes perfect. Spend time experimenting with each tool discover new features, and optimize your workflow. Knowing your tools inside out can significantly speed up your design process and increase your creative possibilities. Creativity thrives when you give it room to play. When it comes to graphic design, the blank canvas is your playground and the tools at your disposal are the toys. 
Experimentation is the name of the game here. Venture beyond your comfort zone, try different design styles, techniques, and tools. Each one offers a unique perspective, a different way of thinking and expressing your ideas. Consider this, a single idea can be expressed in countless ways. A minimalist design can convey elegance and sophistication, while a vibrant, colorful design can evoke excitement and energy. By experimenting with different styles, you broaden your creative horizons and discover new ways to convey your message. Now let's talk about techniques. Are you used to working with vectors? Try experimenting with raster graphics. Do you usually stick to flat designs? Dabble in some 3D rendering. Each technique offers its own set of challenges and rewards, and mastering them can open up new avenues for your creativity. And what about tools? If you're a Photoshop wizard, why not give Illustrator or InDesign a whirl? Each tool has its unique strengths and can bring something different to your designs. By expanding your toolbox, you're not just learning new skills, you're also expanding your creative possibilities. But experimenting is just half the battle. To refine your designs, you need to iterate. Iteration is the process of making gradual improvements to your design based on feedback and self-evaluation. It's about turning that rough sketch into a polished masterpiece. The beauty of iteration is that it's a never-ending process. Each iteration brings you one step closer to perfection, but there's always room for improvement. It's a journey of continuous learning and growth, where each step forward is an opportunity to improve and innovate. So don't be disheartened if your first attempt doesn't quite hit the mark. It's all part of the process. Embrace the chaos, the uncertainty. Dive headfirst into the world of possibilities and let your creativity run wild. Remember, every great design started as a rough draft. Don't be afraid to experiment and iterate. In the world of design, there's always something new to learn. You see, graphic design is not a static field, but a dynamic and ever-evolving realm. It's a creative playground where innovation is the name of the game and new ideas are the currency. And the only way to keep up with this constant change to stay ahead of the curve is to never stop learning. Continuous learning is not just about acquiring new skills. It's about staying relevant in a rapidly changing industry. It's about understanding the latest trends, the new tools, the emerging techniques, and the evolving expectations of your audience. It's about knowing how to adapt, how to innovate, and how to push the boundaries of your creativity. So how can you keep learning, you ask? Well, there are countless resources out there for you to explore. Online platforms like Skillshare, Udemy, and Coursera offer a wide range of courses on graphic design, from beginner to advanced levels. You can delve into specific areas such as typography, color theory, or digital illustration, or learn about broader topics like branding and visual communication. But learning isn't limited to structured courses. Blogs, podcasts, and YouTube channels dedicated to design can be treasure troves of information. They can provide you with insights into the creative processes of other designers, show you the latest trends in the industry, and give you practical tips and tricks to improve your work. And let's not forget about the power of networking. Joining communities of designers, whether online or offline, can be a great way to exchange ideas, ask questions, and learn from the experiences of others. Remember, the key to continuous learning is curiosity. It's about asking questions, seeking answers, and never being satisfied with the status quo. It's about challenging yourself, pushing your limits, and always striving to be better. So keep exploring, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep learning. Because in the world of graphic design, knowledge is power, and staying curious and open to learning is crucial for growth in graphic design. So, we've explored some key aspects of unleashing your creativity in graphic design. Let's take a moment to reflect on these significant points. We started our journey by recognizing the power of creativity. It's this innate ability to imagine and innovate that sets us apart. Never underestimate its potential for it's the driving force behind every unique design. Next, we dove into mastering the basics. Understanding foundational design principles is crucial as they form the bedrock upon which our creative ideas are built. Elements like color, form, balance, and typography are all integral to creating a compelling visual narrative. We then moved on to knowing your tools. 
the world of graphic design is brimming with a multitude of software and hardware tools. Familiarizing yourself with them can help you harness your creativity to its fullest potential, transforming your vivid imaginations into tangible designs. Our journey led us to the realm of experimentation and iteration. In design, there's no such thing as failure, only opportunities for growth. So dare to experiment, iterate, and refine. It's through this process that we create designs that truly resonate. Lastly, we emphasize the importance of continuous learning. Graphic design is a dynamic field, constantly evolving. Staying updated with latest trends and techniques is key to staying relevant and fresh. Remember, creativity is a journey, not a destination. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep creating.